Outdoor recreation contributed 40,000 jobs and $3.5 billion to Arkansas's gross domestic product in 2021. But state officials think that only scratches the surface of what's possible. And a new advisory council aims to find strategies to grow that business in a big way. Arkansas business editor Lance Turner joins us now. And Lance, the governor has been talking about the need to grow Arkansas's outdoor economy. That effort got underway last week. That's right. Yeah, go, the governor last week announced the 17 members of her new Arkansas uh, Natural State Advisory Council, which aims to coordinate efforts among several state departments, particularly Parks, Heritage and Tourism and the Department of Commerce to make Arkansas an even bigger player in outdoor recreation. Uh, that includes things, of course, like biking, hiking, cycling, uh, camping, paddle sports, hunting, fishing, all of those outdoor activities. Uh, and Sanders, of course, has named her husband Brian to chair that council, but there are some other big names on it as well. People you will know like Tom Walton, uh, the Walmart heir, but also representatives from companies like Dillard's Incorporated, Murphy USA, and then also uh, leaders from Arkansas tourism companies, conservation groups, and also state agencies like Game and Fish uh, and the Office of Outdoor Recreation. And of course, we know that Arkansas has long been known as the natural state. Tourism has been a booming business, but what's the new opportunity the governor and others see in outdoor recreation? So Stuart Walton, who is Tom Walton's brother, put it pretty simply on a panel here in Little Rock last week. He said that within uh, about a day's drive to Bentonville, if you draw a circle around Bentonville, there are 66 million potential visitors to Arkansas outdoor attractions. If you draw the same type of radius around a city like Breckenridge, Colorado, a major outdoor recreation site, you only have 16 million people. So if Arkansas can increase uh, the access to and promotion of its outdoor amenities, uh, Walton sees that as what he calls the recreational opportunity of a lifetime for the state. Wow. So tell us, what are the next steps? So the council hasn't met yet. It will eventually uh, get together and begin working on strategies and recommendations. It has to provide an annual report to the governor about its work. Uh, but Mike Mills, who, of course, is the new secretary of Parks, Tourism and Heritage, is on the council and says he's excited about the possibilities of getting all these people together to think about this new strategy. And, and in fact, he says this will mark the first time that Parks, Tourism and Heritage has actually worked closely with uh, the Department of Commerce, which usually is involved in economic development initiatives. So he sees a lot of potential there. Another council member is Phil Shellhammer, who's the director of the University of Arkansas Greenhouse Outdoor uh, Recreation Program. He thinks Arkansas can become a great outdoor destination for the United States and possibly even the world. So a lot of optimism around this new initiative. Yeah, a lot of growth possibility, a lot to look forward to. All right. Thanks, Lance, for joining us today. And you can read more about this at ArkansasBusiness.com.